Well, hello. I want to welcome you to my review of the Hero 718. This is kind of an interesting fountain pen. I first encountered it on Leo's channel, The Inquisitive Quill, and uh, I've enjoyed it ever since, so let's take a look at it. If videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old at all price points, I invite you to subscribe. And if you'd like to talk about this, or perhaps another retractable fountain pen, or maybe even uh, call me out on the difference between safety pens and uh, retractable pens, please feel free to do that as well. So let's take a look. So this pen is a rather unassuming black body. It's metal bodied pen. It's on the heavy side. It's supposed to be, is, a lot like a Mont Blanc 1912, but I've never used one, so I have nothing smart to say about that. Um, Chinese characters, hero logo, and the model. Uh, finial instead of a Mont Blanc star, you'll see the hero logo. That is not meant to look be evocative of the of the bird splat on top of a Mont Blanc pen. That is hero's logo. I guess it's a lotus flower. The other finial, nothing. Uh, this nib, or I mean this knob, serves a dual function, which let's check it out. So one of the problems when you open the pen is where's the nib? It's like the old Wendy's advertisement. Where's the nib? It's in there. But so it's retractable. What you do, turn this, out comes the nib. Now, I won't do it because it's full of ink, but if I pull this back, it'll pop out, and then I can turn it to fill the pen. But since it is full of ink, we won't be demonstrating that. Uh, the nib is... Uh, I've never used a 10K nib before, so that was interesting. I, that's less than 50% gold. Uh, but it's a 10K nib. And it's actually a really nice nib, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, in fact, it'd feel horrible if I capped it and mushed the nib, because you can see the line. Well, you can't, but I can. Where the cap rubs. I would feel horrible if I splayed the nib in an enthusiastic capping session. Like, oh, what's this? I can't get it on any further? Uh, you can't see it, probably... They don't know how to show you, but there is a pin in there that hits the feed right there and keeps that horrible disaster from happening. So what you would be interested in is how this thing writes. I should mention before I write, this is not a posting pen. That's awful. I always have trouble remembering the names of these Birmingham inks because they're so long. Uh... Anyway, this is a Birmingham, a nice, very nice blue-black color. So let's see what, how this pen, maybe you can see it already, how this pen flexes. I should point out this would be a soft nib, not a flex nib. So without too much pressure, I can definitely coax quite a bit of line variation out of this puppy. And enough for, for me. Oh, uh, let's see, wetness and flow. I promise one of these days I will take a screwdriver and fix this pet, this uh, squeaky chair. Yeah, no trouble keeping up. I, I've been impressed with whatever ink I've put in this pen, and I've had several. Uh, let's see how uh, the smear test goes, which of course is as much a test of the ink as it is of the pen. So let's first just do no pressure. That's pretty wet. Full pressure. Oh yeah. Nice wet pen. Uh, and then uh, I always like to do reverse writing because some people do that. Some people might even like it if I put that a little higher on the screen, wouldn't you? Nice, smooth, extra fine. Now, let's do a longer form quote.
I caught myself on the, my iPad here while I was writing that. I, <laughs> I, why am I wearing this shirt? Well, I don't know. I uh, wore it one day to the fair, Saturday actually. We just had the fair and a goat. I, I was trying to get a photograph of a, an animal and a goat that I was backing toward its pen decided these leaves looked like food because I felt this tugging on my shirt and I looked down and there was goat headed in its mouth. So luckily no damage and it washed out. Um, Anyway, uh, as far as the pen, I am actually very impressed with this pen. I uh, thought three or four times when I originally bought it, do I really want it? You know, I, I own a couple other retractable nib pens that I was a little less than impressed with. But now that I own it, I've been very happy. It's uh, It just turns out it's a really good pen. Uh, it writes very well. It, it's a little heavy. And one of the drawbacks, I think I already said, is that it doesn't hold a whole lot of ink. Uh, I, I find it runs out much more quickly than my other pens. And I don't know what the guts are inside the barrel. I don't know if we're looking at some sort of a captured converter or if we're looking at an actual piston filler. I just don't know that. And I haven't been brave enough to take the pen apart and find out. Um, so I really don't know what I'm working with. But that said, nice writer, nice classy looking pen, and I'm glad I bought it. So, uh, hope that made it as clear as mud. So if videos like this interest you, or I talk about fountain pens new and old, but at all price points, I'd invite you to subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to talk about this or some other retractable nib fountain pens, or perhaps berate me for spending that much money or wearing this shirt I promised I'd never wear again, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. And as always, I thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.